Oak Park just hosted a party for the ages. I came up with the idea a year ago uh, for Betty's 99th birthday. I knew that she was from Oak Park and I thought we should have a party for her 100th birthday. Lords Nichols has taken charge in organizing a very Betty hometown celebration for the late entertainer Betty White. In the fall, I approached my publisher about this idea and I think I said, I'm not going to take no for an answer. We're doing this. We are going to do this. And we talked with her agent, Jeff, about it. And he was on board and he told Betty about it. And we were having this birthday party. The celebration took place Saturday, January 14th, before what would have been the late icon's 100th birthday. Festivities began with a brief ceremony and musical performance outside of the Lake Theater. Thank you for being a friend. Cindy Fee, she is the singer of Thank You for Being a Friend, the Golden Girls theme song. She actually lives in Oak Park. So she's going to be singing at our event. And it was all for a good cause, too. Across the street, the Animal Care League hosted a pet adoption event to honor White's lifelong commitment to animal rights. Once we started putting this event out, people found us. Um, you know, I've never seen such a response and such love for one person. Organizing a town-wide birthday celebration is no small feat. To finance the festivities, the Wednesday Journal sold ads in their paper. But it wasn't long until the Oak Park community began pitching in, too. We also uh, got the business people to put together their Betty White special. So we have Mickey's uh, in Oak Park that has a hot dog, fries, and a Diet Coke special. Uh, we have a Betty White mocha at Wise Cup, a business <laughs> in Oak Park. We also have the Betty White cocktail at Cucina Paradiso that day. So everyone's kind of getting in the mood. Nichols says she never expected the event to turn into something this big. It is a big endeavor. It's way bigger than I thought a year ago right now. Um, in my mind, I had a few of these things going, but not to the extent it is right now. When Betty White passed away on New Year's Eve, it became uncertain if the event would and should go on. But Nichols says she thinks it's what Betty would have wanted. I heard a quote from Betty White. Uh, it was, uh, don't become a professional mourner. It doesn't help you or other people. Be grateful for the times that you had and celebrate. Celebrating her life is really what everyone is here to do and what everyone wants to do across the world, really. Jamaica Ponder, CBSN, Chicago.